Hello there everyone, and I'm sure you're probably realizing, hey, wasn't that OBS? Yes it was. And that means I'm attempting to do a tutorial today. Also, this is my third time recording this, because I realize I messed up on a lot of things, so <laughs> let's begin. Let's try again. So the first thing about adding custom textures, which, if you don't know what it is, is basically this. Adding a new texture over a model. So how do we do this? First, you go on the internet. Well, first thing you need to find is what the Valve Developer Community recommends, VTF Edit. This will allow you to go into the texture of models and allow and, uh, and be able to change them in any way. So you go to NEMS Tools, click the installer, and then to find the mo and then you get who and find, and then you find the model you want to retexture, such as this Thomas. So just type Thomas or so. And then you, and then as a fem, you right click on the Thomas on the Thomas prop, and you go down to the bottom, not near create present, but where it says, where it says add a override material. So you click that, and yes, it just cleaned it off. So go back here, right click again, and then go to. So right click on this again, go to the shown element viewer, viewer, go to model, and then you'll be brought here. Look for the materials thing and click click that. Now there will be this huge lo long list of what to change. So what do you do? First you try first you find the part you want to change, such as the ads or the cab. I recommend the cab since this is just the bigger part. So you right click, add attribute, and then go to string. You delete you delete new attribute, dollar sign, shift four, and in lowercase type base texture. Simple as that. And then you'll be greeted with this weird electric texture. And originally, back then, it was just used to be this pink and pink and black square thing. But then, they changed it. I don't know why, but they changed it. So then, just as by itself, this doesn't really look that good. So then, to add custom textures, you go to local, or you go anywhere in your PC where you can find program files times 86. You double click to open them there. Go to Steam, open that, Steam Apps, go to Common, find Source Filmmaker, Game, and you'll be brought here. And just go, and depending on what your model was from, um, considering, excuse me, to, to find where your model is from, or to go to change the texture of your model, you have to remember where you got the model from. And so this Thomas was from the workshop. I can just simply type that. And it's Thomas. Just type Thomas. And here we are. Here's Thomas. So from that, we can clo close that for a second. Go to workshop materials. And then don't don't go to neb or don't go to n don't go to who the thi don't try and go to the thing yet. If you try and do so, you're just going to mess it up. So after materials, go to models, and then you'll be brought to here, which these different names, and these are actually the names of the creators that made the models. And so, how do we find out? So then, how do we find out who created Thomas, or at least the name of Thomas? Well, one good thing about SFM is that when you're making custom textures, you can do it on the go, which means that you can make a custom texture while you have SFM open, and you don't need to close it in order to change it. Of course, if you change the texture that's been named. I'll get to that, but my best recommendation is that we go to add new model, then type Thomas, and then look for this one, which is what I'm using here, and you will find it says Neb, being the original creator. So with that information, we go and find Neb, which is down here, double click that, then open Thomas, and then you're brought here. VTF edit will hopefully change these to .vmts and VFT. VTFs. Now to know which one we need to change, we have to, I recommend, the best, the obvious solution is the VTF, or if you still don't know, just look at the type, valve texture file. We're changing the texture, not the material. So we go to cab.vtf, and you'll be pre presented with this thing. But if you scroll down, you realize, hey, this is the site of Thomas. And if we zoom out by right-clicking and selecting zoom out, we'll see this is Thomas's textures. Now, if we want to customize it, I we right-click, click copy, 
And then in any paint, in any paint software you have, and I have MS Paint because I'm poor, we open that, and then paste it with Control V. We can now do whatever we want to Thomas. And of course, I've already done it before, so I'm not going to say this, but save it, save as, do whatever you want, and then either save it to, save it to anywhere where you know you will find it. I just save it to pictures since it's the most simplest way. So save it to somewhere. And then how we import the texture is that we go to the top left over here for file. We click import or control L. Then we look through the pictures and we, tr and we try and find that texture. So for example, I use the cab texture test. Just click OK and we'll present it with this here. We, get, we click file and then, and then we click save as. Now where do we save it as? We go back to the same place where we were. So we'll program files times 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Source Filmmaker, Game, Workshop, Materials, Models, Name of the Creator, aka Neb for right now. We double click Thomas, and then we're brought back here. And then what you do now is that you can just name it whatever you want, such as the scratched cab test. Once again, I've done it before, so yeah, it'll save and it'll be renaming itself scratched cab test. Test or so. You don't have to add underscores, it's just something I like to do. So you can close out of that, and then come back to your Thomas, go to Element Viewer, and copy this part, but accept the cab except the cab part. Just copy. And then paste with control V. And then type in the name of the texture you called it. Scratched cab test. Press enter. And then you'll have the texture that's been rem and you have a new texture on, on Thomas. Which is pretty simple and pretty ugly, but hey, this is a test. So now I think so that's basically for most of the models. Most models you'll find on the workshop. But what about models like what if you want to change the eye texture? And in this case, I'm going to be talking about the eye texture for models that ha have their eyes be sliding. And what the heck do I mean by that? I mean models like the TF2 models. For example, Heavy. We have the eye slider in the face control. Models up, down, left and right, and then converge, which just makes it look derp. So then what do we do? We do the same thing, add override materials, Show an element viewer model, and then we go to the eyeballs. But in this case, we don't go. But when we do change the texture of the eyeball, we don't change it to uh, the base texture. If we do, nothing happens to the eyeball. It just stays the same. So what we want to do is that we change the from base texture to iris, lowercase iris. And as you've seen, I've done it before on the on the right side. So on the left, you still get that same electric shock color. So then we go. Find any color on the workshop, that is. This is just for example. And then we select which one we want, TF2 Aqua. So we copy, select copy, and then just control V paste it here. And here we go. You got your uh, you got your model your uh, model to look uh, up, down, left, right, and look and cross side with sliders and have a different eye texture. And of course, heavy and some of the models can be are going to be different. You can't always change both of the eyeballs. They'll just be changed to the same thing. So that's unfortunate. But yeah, I hope this video helps some people out. And if you still need some clarification, I'll try to clarify in the comments. Hope you all enjoyed and hope this all helped you all. Well, and yeah, I'll also make sure to leave a link to NEMS tools for VTF edit. Hope you all have a good day, everyone.